behavior of electrons can only be understood in terms of quantum mechanics. You may find almost all the books for elementary quantum mechanics have the same three stories: black body radiation, photoelectric effect, and the spectra of atoms. The three stories tell us that energy absorbed or released from an atom is quantized. And energy is described by E equals h mu. H is the Planck constant. Nu is the frequency of the radiation. An atom has the quantized energy levels. Bohr built a model for hydrogen atom on the basis of the three stories. He suggested that the electron move around the nucleus at a stable orbit. With the energies defined exactly by an integer, as you see on the slide, the integer is a one, two, or three, or others. The electron absorbs the energy, is then excited to higher energy level or higher orbit, and energy is released if the electron go back to low energy level. Bohr's model is perfect for hydrogen atom, though only for hydrogen atom. But there is a still big question mark behind the three stories and the Bohr's model. Why quantized? Why does the energy distribution around the nucleus get quantized? Schrödinger answered this key question. He presented an equation: H. Psi equals e psi. H is further expressed by such a complicated term, includes kinetic and potential parts. Psi is called wave function, a function to describe the wave. Then you may ask, why and how can a wave function model the behavior of electrons? The answer is psi. Is just a function, no specific physical meaning. Till years later, it was accepted that the squared psi represents the probability to find the electron in a very small defined place, dV. The exact solution to Schrodinger equation for hydrogen atom are a set of parameters. Here, when n is one. We have e one, n is two. We have e two, which are corresponding to the energy levels or orbits in Bohr's model. And this is not all. We'll also have l as a subsolution of n, and ml as subsolution to l. N is called a principal quantum number. L. Angular momentum quantum number and ML magnetic quantum number. All these three quantum numbers are the solutions to Schrodinger equation for electron around the nucleus. Now we know that Schrodinger equation tells us that an electron has an ID, quantum ID. Of quantum numbers, n, l, ml. For example, an electron with n equals two, l equals zero, and ml equals plus one. But in chemistry, we express the idea of electron in another way. Here is it. We name the angular momentum quantum numbers with specific letters, s for zero. P for one, D for two, F for three, etc. For example, three electrons with n is two, l is one, is denoted with two p three. We could name the wave function with specific n, l, and ml as the orbital. If wave function psi has no physical meaning, then orbital is thereby meaningless. Two. From the point of physics, but as we said, 
A squared sign is the probability to find the electron. I want to point out that when people say orbital, they may refer to the wave function sign, or they may refer to the squared sign, the probability. Now, let's see the meaning for probability plots for the orbits. S orbits have a shape of a sphere. This is why it's denoted with S. In 2S and 3S orbitals, there are radial nodes where no electrons found. Similarly, there is an angular node where no electron found. The number of nodes, both radial and angular, can be calculated with the formula shown on the slide. Why are they named the radial and the angular nodes? Because the wave function written in polar coordinates consists of a radial component r of little r. See the slide here. An angular component y of theta and phi. The nodes are related to the different components of sine square. If we check a cross-section plot of an orbital, for example, 3s here, we can find the probability to find the electron at 3s orbital around the nucleus. The more closer to the nucleus, the more probability. The probability is zero at R1 and R3, indicative of nodes. Another plot of radial distribution function, RDF, shown here, shows us the most probable distance between the electron and the nucleus. You may call it radius of the orbit. The electron moves around the nucleus to some extent, like uh, the Earth moves around the sun. The Earth rotates, the electron spins too. The quantum number of sp for spin, S, is one half. If the electron spin up, denoted with ms equals plus one half. If it spins down, denotes with ms equals minus one half. Now, we finally have all the codes for an electron, a set of quantum numbers to describe the state of an electron, m for the size of an orbital, l for the shape of an orbital, ml for the orientation of an orbital, and ms for spin up down of an electron.